Good afternoon and welcome to the December 1st study session of the Mesa City Council. Uh, I'm Mayor Giles and will be conducting the meeting. The first item on our agenda is to review items on the agenda for tonight's regular council meeting. Um, there are, uh, council, why don't we begin with that? Is there anybody that knows there's something that is on the agenda that you'd like to pull? I did notice one thing that I thought would, was worthy of a comment, and that's uh, agenda item 5A. It's interesting that today we are canvassing uh, the results of the general election that was held on November the 4th. Uh, as we all know, that was a very significant election for the city of Mesa, and uh, I think we're all very uh, grateful for the, uh, the public's response to that to that uh, election and uh, the, the great vote of confidence that was uh, expressed to the city of Mesa in passing the bonds and the general plan update uh, and the new general plan. So I think it's uh, Im important for us to take note of that and to express our appreciation to the voters uh, for the trust that they've uh, shown in the city of Mesa. So as the mayor, I just wanted to say that. and. Uh, Take note that that's on the uh, on our agenda to to, to uh, ratify that election result today. Are there any other items? On? Yes, um, Mr. Richards. In our economic development committee meeting uh, that preceded this meeting, chaired by Councilmember Summers, um, we had considerable discussion on 8A and 8B. Um, it's on for introduction only for now. Um, but uh, I, I had some, some concerns with some of the criteria or, or some of the, we had a, we had a discussion about criteria uh, on when that, that rate gets granted and, and what are some of the goals that we're trying to accomplish under that rate. And so we were trying to decide what we should do about moving forward, if we should table it for now and push it until we have an opportunity to hear more about it as a council or, or where, where we should go with it. So, and, but we, we were kind of undecided on whether to go ahead and introduce it tonight and then, you know, use the next week to learn more about it. But okay. um, I, st I still have some concerns about it moving forward. Are you comfortable with leaving it on the consent for introduction and then we address those concerns at the following meeting or should we back off and, uh, May address the concerns prior to that mayor and members of council if um, if there's enough concerns and there's a possibility that we may need to change it or amend it for what it is today I would recommend let's just pull it off the agenda because I'd rather have it on the agenda even yeah. for an introduction where we can at least try to work with the whole count work with the council sorry to try to get something closer to what you're what you're comfortable with. So I, I, there's, I don't have a problem. And, and just specifically, some of the main uncomfortability was around when that, in, when that incentive is granted and the criteria related to granting that incentive, wanting to make sure it's very objective and that it had appropriate oversight by the council um, for, for the deals that might come through. Sure. This Sounds is like affecting our downtown. We, we really yeah, wanted to make sure. Mr. The only question I would have as a follow-up, I just want to make sure that pulling this doesn't have any impact on any immediately impending economic development activity in our downtown so area. So, Mayor and Council, if there is a, let's say, a prospect today that is, and we're in discussions and considering using uh, utility rates as one of the tools, um, then we, what we might do then is just we'd bring that to the Council for your consideration for approval by that singularly. We could do it that way. So you would hear the proposal specifically for that item, for yeah. that development. And talking development. To, to Mr. Jibjiniak, our economic development director, he said that there, there were not any impending yeah. deals. There, but even there if there were, were then we bring to, it to the whole council for you to consider okay. anyway. We're trying to develop a policy that allows the staff to kind of put this out there ahead of time before it even comes to the council so that as we're talking with potential prospects, we can show them here if you meet these criteria, where it's capital investment or jobs or investing in this part of the community, this, this might be available to you. So I think that's what we're trying to get with council. So we can spend more time doing that. Perfect. Yeah, that so what, what was the consensus of the committee? You know, I don't know that we really achieved a consensus more about the specific agenda item tonight, but there we did did determine that we did need some evaluation okay. of some of the criteria. So given that if things do change, we'd have to reintroduce, it's probably better to not introduce. 
As, as chair of that committee, I would say in the generally it seemed favorable to the concept with concern that there needed to be a little bit of uh, the ability to have some council oversight on what this applies to and ensuring that not only does the incentive match the job creation goals, but those goals are matched by the, the overall vision and objective of uh, downtown Mesa. Yeah, Would you recommend that we uh, have the council committee look at it again, or should we schedule it for a study session and have the whole council? Because, frankly, I mean, these are issues that I'm interested in, too, and probably the other council members. My uh, recommendation, given that uh, a fair amount of work has been done already, I think some modification needs to be made to the recommendation, and the entire council needs to hear that. So I would recommend that this come to a, a full council study session for final recommendation. Okay, thank you. And, uh, and given the work that's going on with our downtown visioning committee, I, I wouldn't mind hearing from them as well that, you know, are there criteria that they may want to see considered in, in doing deals like this? Um, and so I, I don't know what the schedule is for that group to meet, but this seems like it's in their mm -hmm. kind of wheelhouse, right. bailiwick, whatever term you want to use uh, to consider and get some input on. So. Okay. Yeah, this, this is an important issue, I think, that we all have. Uh, and this is a modification of an existing policy yeah, that we already correct. have that's only been applied once to retain a business. And so this is looking at some minor changes to it to broaden the scope of what might be able to be uh, done. So, I mean, the, yeah, Councilmember Summers is right. The general concept we're, we're good with, but there's some criteria that I think needs to be evaluated. Okay. Well, uh, if you don't mind, I'll consider... Uh, Mr. Richens comments a motion to uh, take items 8A and 8B off of the consent agenda for tonight, or actually off of the agenda period, uh, to be reconsidered and to be uh, agendized for a council study session. Uh, just to do it in a formal way, is there a second to that motion? Mr. Luna, all in favor, say aye. 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 Any opposed? Okay, so for those uh, that are taking note, agenda items 8A and 8B have been removed from the agenda for tonight's meeting. Any other comments on the agenda for tonight's meeting? All right, the next item for this meeting is to acknowledge receipt of minutes from boards and committees. Do so we have a motion to do that? So moved. A second? second? All in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed? Thank you. Uh, next agenda item is to hear reports on meetings and conferences attended. I think with the Thanksgiving holiday, we haven't had a particularly busy week since we last met. So. And we're all on a trip to fan overdose. There we go. All right. Uh, next item is scheduled meetings and general information. I'm sorry. I know if the two of you wanted to talk about Empire, we're going to do that later. I'd be happy to. I think that uh, I mean, is a significant yes. investment in Mesa. Thank you for reminding me, Mr. Brady. Uh, Last week, uh, Wednesday, Mr. Cavanaugh and I, correct me when I leave all the good stuff out, Dennis, uh, took a great tour of the new Empire uh, Machinery uh, Building. You may note on Country Club, uh, just south of the freeway, uh, there's been a large construction project there for a few months. Uh, that is, was constructing a maintenance uh, and maintenance facility for Empire. They work on, as you know, part of what they do is these very large, very expensive pieces of mining equipment and other heavy equipment. And this facility will allow them to, uh, frankly, I, when I was in there, I thought this is, I, I thought the, the uh, space shuttle, I think, could fit in, several of them could fit in this facility. And it's uh, technologically, it's about at that level as well with all of the uh, machinery and, and uh, very high, highly technical things that they do in there to, to address that very expensive machinery. Anyway, huge facility, very uh, spectacular, uh, will be the source of a lot of jobs. And as you know, a lot of the folks that work in that facility get their training at MCC and, and EVIT. So it's a, it's a great success story, not just for Empire, but also for uh, a lot of the institutions that support the people who work there. So uh, I was very impressed with that facility. Dennis, what did I leave out? Well, this, it was a great culmination. Uh, the community and council may remember several years ago, we entered into an agreement with Empire to come into the city. They were a county island forever. Mm -hmm. And uh, we worked with them in a very positive way to help make this expansion, which is a dramatic expansion of their site with uh, significant new high-paid jobs. 
uh, that will be uh, servicing customers really all over the country. And uh, as I understand it, this uh, site where they're able to rebuild and remanufacture a lot of the parts is really one of only two or three in the country capable of doing this kind of work. And, and so it's, uh, it's a very impressive building. Uh, they have heavy use of uh, solar power there that during uh, some times of the year they anticipate having 100 percent of their utility costs covered uh, by that. And so it's a, it's a great example for uh, other uh, institutions, companies in, in Mesa and East Valley to look at in terms of how to, uh, to use solar power in a positive way to, in a dramatic expansion uh, for jobs. And so Empire has always been a, uh, a very uh, important uh, company in our community, and it's, I think uh, the work that was done several years ago to bring them into the city is going to be, that investment is going to be repaid uh, many times over. Hey, Mayor, can I also add that Please. I remember this part of the, of the tour also. They're very complimentary of Christine Zalanka and her staff in helping them to bring um, this building uh, up, as well as the architect also talked about how um, many people don't realize how easy it is to build in Mesa. So I thought that was very nice of them, very complimentary of the staff. Thank you, Mr. Brady. While Dennis was, was, uh, was talking, I did write... Christine Zalonka's name down. And, uh, so, Christine, congratulations on uh, you've got some big fans over there. And they did go out of their way to, to talk about what a pleasure it was to work with the city on building that facility. So thank you for making us all look good. Um, next item on the agenda is schedule of meetings and general information. Mr. Brady, do you have anything? Just a reminder, we'll have a study session um, this coming Thursday. Okay. And then our next council meeting is a week from tonight, today. Thank you. Right. Just uh, so you know, I'll be out of town. And I should note that Mr. Thompson has uh, let us let it be known that he wouldn't be here tonight. He had a prior commitment, so we'll, uh, Council Member Elect Thompson won't be with us tonight. Uh, thank you. That uh, concludes our agenda for this meeting. Is there a motion to adjourn? In a second. All in favor, say aye. aye. We will reconvene upstairs. <laughs> <laughs>